I'm going to show you two ways that you can interact with PDFs and ChatGPT and upload your PDFs to ChatGPT and understand them better, all of the things. The first method is the easy method. We'll go over that one quickly. Then I'll show you the best method towards the end. So jumping straight into it, if you go to ChatGPT and you go to Explore GPTs, you'll go over here. If you search for PDF, you'll get a lot of different custom GPTs that have been built for a bunch of different reasons. So there's ones that provide insights, ones that just let you store and chat with the PDFs, you can use any of those. And just to kind of show you how that works, we'll just go and we'll look at one, we'll say PDF Insight, we'll go there. This is rated at a 3.8, okay, not bad. And what we'll do is we'll say start chat. And then when we go in there, what we can do is I have this PDF, it's 17 pages, it's very complex subject matter, I'm trying to understand it. And what I can do is I can just go ahead and drop that right here where this file is. Then when I upload that, I can say, explain this to me, provide me some insight, give me the top 10 points of this PDF. Okay, so here's my prompt, here's the file, I can pass it up, we'll see what it gives us. Now, the best method that we can do is to actually go and make our own custom GPT. And what we'll do with that is go to the same place, explore GPTs, go in, create one, but let's look at this output right here. So right here, so this is the uh, GPT interacting with the PDF, it's saying yes, hey, here you go, uh, here's the top 10 uh, insights from this. So it is talking about, you know, all of this really complex stuff with large language models and geospatial data. So this is something that I could read later, obviously really good, you could prompt this for hours and, and just learn as much as you want. And you'll probably get a really great Cliff's Notes type of experience with the PDF. But let's go into the second method which actually shows you how to create the custom GPT just for this one PDF. So let's do this. We'll say explore GPTs, then we'll say create up in the top right hand corner. Then from there, we got a fresh slate to create a brand new GPT. So what we'll say is we'll call this one GOLM PDF um, insights. And so what we'll say is we can fill out these things, but we'll mainly go down to this knowledge section. And what we'll do right here is we'll upload that PDF to that knowledge section. Okay, and once you've done that, that puts the PDF in the chat GPT's knowledge base so that it specifically focuses on that. So a couple things we'll do, description, we'll say provides insights from GOLM PDF, right? Um, provide insights from this PDF. Okay, now, so we can make the instructions a lot better and we can make it a lot more custom, but what we can do right off the bat is just start with this, okay? And what we'll do is we'll kind of down here in the capabilities just turn off image generation because we're not gonna need to have anything done with that or about that. We're just gonna leave the code interpreter and the web browser because maybe we need it to interpret something complex in this PDF. There are a lot of technical breakdowns in here. There could be something with data that we might wanna have it, it like look through. And I could even use this as an example. I could say on page five, give me a chart of this data and all these large language models and all of their different um, breakdowns or something like that. And that's actually what we'll, we'll try to do first. So I can say um, publish to uh, only me and just because this is something that it'll just be for me i don't really want to worry too much about that when i go here great i'll say um provide me a chart of the data on page five of this pdf and let's see what it does with that so this should allow it to go through and you know we might have to change the prompt a little bit on this but what we're looking to have out of this is for it to go through use code interpreter to actually take this table right here and really break this information down and provide all of this data in the best breakdown for all of these large language models in a chart so we'll see if it gives that output all right, and so we had page five, all that data in that table. Now we have a much better, much more robust visualization of everything that we wanted to see right here. And we could even say uh, something like, give me a download link for a PNG uh, file of this chart so that we can, you know, get this, this actual chart and download it and then maybe use it in a presentation because this is providing, you know, 
all of these breakdowns for all of the model performances across these different tasks and it's got all all those different models there um, aligned now one thing to keep in mind is that this chart isn't very good everything is green right and so we could say um, make the chart better uh, everything is in green so it's hard to tell the difference between models maybe put them on the x-axis Okay, cool. So we're gonna ask for an insight. We could download this chart right here if we wanted to. Boom, there we go. And we would have that model performance chart.png. There we go. So this has like everything here. And while that other chart is creating, right? Like we could ask it for a bunch more insights that we didn't have initially so that we can study and understand this paper and get a lot more out of it. So I think that this right here is just a prime example of the best possible version of how you can interact with a PDF and how you could get ChatGPT to parse through it. Now, right here it didn't show me the chart, but it does give me a download link. So it's kind of remembering that we wanted that. Now, right here, this is the improved chart. We're getting a lot more out of this. So if I say, model performance across different tasks, right? So we have the Pearson's R squared value, okay? And then we have kind of a stacked uh, horizontal chart right here. And I'm not sure, really, this is the best visualization, but we can keep prompting it for better and better ones. And we can see where it gets to eventually. I really hope that video was helpful for you. If you want to learn more about ChatGPT or just how to work with AI tools in general or more about data in general, please check out my channel. There's a couple different things on there that you might find helpful. I have a full ChatGPT course that I'll link in this video and in the description. Definitely check that out. Thanks so much for watching and have a good one.